heel spurs versus plantar fasciitis and what's the difference? So when we're thinking about pain in the plantar fascia and pain in the heels, there's a few things we need to consider. So first of all, we'll run through a definition of plantar fasciitis. So plantar fasciitis or the plantar fascia is an anatomical structure. So it's a ligament that sits, runs from the heel to the forefoot um, and it sits right in where this pen is, just if we use that as, as an example. So it's a ligament. So we think of that like an elastic band and it's designed to help to stop the arch from collapsing. Okay. Um, heel spurs are a little bony lump that sticks out from the heel and it looks like a spur of bone sticking out. So it's called a, a heel spur. Um, the difference between the two is the plantar fasciitis is inflammation of the ligament that spans the arch. So the plantar fascia is inflamed. So plantar fascia itis means it's inflamed. Whereas the heel spur is the little bony lump or the spike of bone that grows out from here in response to the tension in the plantar fascia. So what happens in a heel spur is when, when the arch collapses, this plantar fascia becomes stretched and it pulls away from the bone just here in the, in the heel. And what it actually does, the, the plantar fascia is connected to the, the periosteum or the skin that surrounds the bone and it pulls the periosteum away from the heel and in this sort of like if we're sort of pitching a tent type of situation so the periosteum gets pulled away and then the bone grows out to meet it and then you've got this little heel spur situation now heel spurs aren't always as painful as they look um, often they look very nasty and like a, like actually a, a sliver or a splinter but if we look at them from the side on the heel spur actually is quite a bit wider than what you'd usually expect. So it's more like a blade of blade of um, bone sticking out rather than just a spike. It's not always essential that you get heel spurs removed. Um, treatment for plantar fasciitis and heel spurs is very similar. We support the arch to take the tension out of the plantar fascia. This removes the tension at the heel and also in the plantar fascia. This allows the plantar fascia to rest uh, and then when the inflammation is gone, the pain goes away. Um, so we usually would treat plantar fasciitis and heel spurs with an orthotic, um, some good shoes, some calf stretching, and some muscle release to release the muscles around the foot and ankle. So the foot and ankle work functionally better, and this leads to less strain and, and pain in the plantar fascia and the heels over time. Keep the questions coming, guys. I appreciate the, you sending them through, and if you have any more questions, you can like and comment and share this, or ask us questions in the comments. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It's very simple to do, and it really does help us out. If you'd like more information on the topics discussed, please check out the links in the description and this will take you to our website where we can discuss these in more detail. If there's a specific question that you have or you'd like answered, please comment in the comments section and we'll do our best to make a video to address this. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.